Butler is expected to be sworn in by Vice President Kamala Harris in the U.S. Senate on Wednesday. Newsom's selection Butler comes at a time of monumental change in California's political landscape, with millions still mourning the loss Feinstein, the Senate's barrier-breaking lioness. Meanwhile, the governor of California, whom Feinstein advised, is grappling with his own personal grief and the political ramifications of his choice to succeed. Her People who spoke to Politico ahead of the announcement were granted anonymity to describe internal deliberations. Butler is registered to vote in Maryland but will be changing his registration to California. After promising to appoint a black woman to seat for the first time, Newsom faced significant pressure over decision. Many potential candidates have publicly said they are not interested. Privately. Some expressed concern about accepting a short-term appointment and then having to immediately prepare for a five-month campaign. Newsom's quick appointment is keeping politicians and their allies from making more sustained efforts to lobby the governor and his inner circle over his pick. And that stops interest groups from putting pressure on him, including the question of whether he should ask them to serve only on a temporary basis. On Sunday, Congressional Black Caucus Chairman Stephen Horsford wrote a letter to Newsom urging him to appoint Rep. Barbara Lee, the Senate candidate the governor recently rejected out of concern about backing someone. Newsom is making good on his promise appoint a black woman to the upper chamber after Harris left the vice presidency and elected Sen. Alex Padilla her old seat in 2021. Newsom is also avoiding a direct detour into next year's Senate contest rival reps. Katie Porter, Adam Schiff and Lee are all Democrats from California. Lee had spent years searching for a potential Senate appointment. But in recent weeks he learned that Newsom was intent on not turning the tide in his favor prompting him to issue a harsh rebuke of his public statement. Butler is a veteran organizer and well-known in Newsom's orbit. He was considering hiring the South Mississippi native as his first chief of staff. And he was once a partner with top political advisors at the San Francisco-based consulting firm now. Known as Bear Star Strategies. He remained a confidant of Vice President Kamala Harris after serving as a senior strategist for the 2020 presidential campaign. Butler, who lives in Washington has close ties to Los Angeles, served as director of public policy campaigns at Airbnb spent nearly two decades as a strong, respected labor leader at the Service Employees International Union. As president of SEIU California, he worked closely with then-Gov. Jerry Brown on policies like raising the minimum wage to 15 an hour and raising taxes for wealthy Californians. He also served on the University of California Board of Regents, where he was appointed by Brown in 2018, before resigning in 